<laughs> so it's me your boy is i'm saying listen there's something you need to understand if you are a choosing you are a winner yes let me tell you no matter the circumstances around you no matter what you are going through don't look yourself as a loser <laughs> yes because the bible says as man thinketh so he is you know what i'm saying as man thinketh in his heart so he is so the truth is this you are not a loser you are indeed a winner that is why if you are a businessman you are married or you are involved in relationship you are involved in this and it look like things are not going well around you and you are having that thought that it's not the right time it's not the right person it's not this all i'm telling you you are a winner god did not said uh, if only if only if only you go if only you touch you you touch this early tree that is when you are going to be blessed if, if you if you if you don't if you touch the dry one you will not get blessing uh, if you march if, if you if you enter italy you will not progress but if you go to germany you will progress uh, if you go to africa that is the only place where you will succeed uh, and if you if you not go to africa you will not succeed no he said wherever we found ourselves whatsoever we found our hand that means anywhere we put our hand as long as you are choosing whether you come from east north part of the world west south you are blessed because that is the inheritance of those that love god that is the inheritance of those that know god so you are not a loser no matter how difficult life may turn around you Don't look at yourself or don't look yourself as a what as a loser. You are indeed a winner. You are not a loser because no matter the situation, you will still end up victory. Yes, believe me, you will still end up in victory. So that is why you should not bargain or try to or debate with someone or maybe some people will come around and be telling you you are a loser. No. The truth is this you are bigger than losing you are bigger than losers you are stronger than failure you are stronger than lose you know losers you are stronger than everything you are a man for greatness and that is why a lot of people up there are always what offended because you win in all ratification they can win you they can stand with you because what you carry is a symbol of what of winning the, you know he, 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 how will i put it now if your father is a military or if your father is a soldier sometimes you don't need to be trained before you get the skills because your father have that word is already word he have that blood and that blood is already transfer or how will i put it is already transfer into your own life why because uh, there's something that my dad used to ask, tell me he said if a, if a thief you know if a thief have like five children truly one of them will become a thief what does that mean what i mean is this as long as your father is a winner which is god probably you are a winner so no matter what you are going through don't just feel like ah oh, i'm losing this is not good around me oh today today is the worst day the worst day in my life i have missed my business i have missed job i have missed this i have made the way worst mistake i ought not to marry this lady i ought not to marry this man god where are you why do you allow all these things to go on why do you allow me to involve in wrong relationship why do you allow me to involve in what partner god why do you allow Allow me to be involved in this business. I lost my money. I lost. I lost everything. I'm frustrated. I don't have hope. I don't. No, chill up, because the word of God is that He will restore the years that the cank and worms and caterpillar have destroyed. So it does not matter how many times you fail. It does not matter how many times you give up. It does not matter how many times you lose in life. It does not matter how, what you have lost or what you lose. What matter is that God is still God. What matter is that God is still with you. So no matter the circumstances that may occur around you, that cannot change the fact that you are a choosing. You are called to win. 
you are called to progress, you are called to succeed. So if anyone is troubling you, or if anyone is trying to debate it with you, just do it. Allow God to take charge because he knows how to handle all situations. You are a winner. You are not a loser. You know what I'm saying? Remain blessed. And don't feel bad. Maybe you, are, you lost one thing to another. Because at the appropriate time, God will restore all. Remain blessed.